we're a pretty small program in the grand scheme of things. Uh, we have a population of a million and some people. We see patients within our program that are waiting for a kidney transplant. Uh, we assess them for suitability. We perform around 30 to 40 kidney transplants a year on average. We follow uh, approximately 600 patients that have had a kidney transplant. And then with that is our live donation program. So I'll see living donors who um, want to give that gift and I'll uh, determine and assess their health to make sure that they're um, safe and it is a, a good procedure for them to undergo and that they would have very little risk as much as possible um, going forward and living a life with just a single kidney. Um, and yeah, we do probably around six to 12 live donor kidney transplants per year, always definitely room to grow. Within our program, we have our nurse coordinators, pharmacists, we have offices here in Saskatoon and in Regina, so we assess patients from both the north and the south of the province. Um, so we, we fly back and forth, we go back and forth between Regina and Saskatoon to try to minimize how much our uh, patients and donors have to travel. We, in Saskatchewan, um, actually performed the second living donor kidney transplant in Canada um, many, many years ago. So it's a long history of uh, kidney transplants in, in this province. It's a, a lengthy process and we hear that from many of our donors and we, we do that to ensure safety. We want to make sure that a donor who has decided already they want to help their loved one. They want to, they'll do anything that they can to improve the life of their loved one. Um, but it's our job, it's my job, to make sure that they're making the right decision and that their health won't suffer um, uh, as a result of that decision. So we make them do lots of tests on their kidney function, on other aspects of their health, uh, to ensure that they're that they're healthy enough to undergo a big surgery. It's a pretty big surgery. Um, and to live many years. Sometimes we have donors that are 20, 30 years old who have to live, or who can live 50, 60, 70 years, who knows? And we need to make sure that their health with a single kidney for that long is going to be well maintained. And it's not a risk-free procedure. We know from literature and evidence that there is risks with kidney donation. There's of course risks around surgery, um, and there's risks going forward living uh, with a single kidney. It's important to be able to put that into context for each donor. It, it emphasizes, or I try to emphasize to them that, that living a healthy lifestyle right up until the day that they die is super important and that's going to reduce their risk of any um, harm as a result of the kidney donation because obviously the worry is that they'll end up with kidney failure themselves and we do know from literature that that is a potential risk for kidney donors. Living donation has a number of benefits to our patients that have kidney failure but also to the healthcare system, absolutely. Um, it's the only, our transplantation is a, is a treatment that um, improves patients' quality of life, improves patients' overall life expectancy, and saves the healthcare system lots of money. A living donor not only um, improves the life and, and uh, the possibility of transplant for their directed donor, but also for people who they don't know who are waiting on a, on a wait list for a deceased donor. We've just uh, surpassed our 1,000th 1, 1, transplant that we've done through that program. And this is 1,000 live donor recipients that had no option for transplant prior to this program.